Mr. President, we have a situation. 86 ballistic missiles are in flight and will strike our country in 14 minutes. We are fighting a nuclear war. I know you've only been in office for a few days, so I'm going to walk you through it. But you are the only person who can authorize us to use nuclear weapons in response, and you've only got a few minutes to make a decision. You're probably wondering, why now? As you know, the situation abroad has escalated rapidly in the past two days. About half an hour ago, we redeployed a squadron of bombers to a forward airbase. We suspect the enemy saw the flight path on radar and assumed they were inbound to their capital for a preemptive nuclear strike. And now, they're trying to neutralize our nuclear forces while they still can. But that doesn't matter much now. Fact is, they've got missiles in the air, and no one can change that. Now, I know what you're thinking, and we can't just shoot them down. Ballistic missiles are basically rockets launched into space. They're higher and faster than any plane you can send after them, and our missile defense systems are too limited for an attack of this size. Right now, we need to get you to the bunker. I can explain more on the way. Aerospace Defense Command is tracking the missile trajectories and reported they're targeting our nuclear command centers, silos, and major Air Force and Navy bases. They're trying to end the war before we have a chance to act. Those military bases are in major population centers. Depending on the payload those missiles have, we could be looking at anywhere from 15 to 80 million civilian casualties. For the next few minutes, we still have our triad. We've got 1,500 warheads across our silos, bombers, and submarines. The 400 in silos need to be launched now before they get taken out. This is our only chance to counter-strike. We can't stop the missiles in the air, but we can stop whatever they might try next. I'm sure you have questions, but you have to give orders without expecting answers right now. With an attack of this scale, there's no guarantee communication or assets will be intact in a few minutes. We're out of time. We need a decision, sir. Can we launch? Yes, this can actually happen. Nuclear wars aren't regular conflicts. They only take minutes, and in times of crisis, small conflicts can rapidly spiral out of control. Confused and with incomplete information, a few people can make civilization-ending decisions in the time it takes to watch a video. Imagine if you were the president. What would you do if a general came in and said,